Hello, I'm Jen Lynn Roberts, the Present Path Tarot, and I'm a down-to-earth reader who loves teaching the cards. Today, I want to share with you the court cards in bed. Mm. So, what are the court cards like in relationships and in bed? Now, I want to start out by saying that um, we're not going to include the page, because these pages, these sweet, innocent pages, they're kind of the virgins of the world. And... They're often representing the young people, and that's just creepy to me. So we're keeping them out of the picture tonight, and I would also like to emphasize that whatever sign you associate with, we are multifaceted nature, all of us. So I relate to Queen of Cups. I also relate to Queen of Pentacles at times. Um, sometimes I'm fiery. So this is how you are in relationships in particular. And just because you might associate with one of these cards as your primary doesn't mean that it's who you are in bed. And sometimes we're the opposite of who we are in bed. So someone who's dominant in their life might be a little more submissive in the sack. All right, so first, let's think about who's the most typical sexy aspect that we would relate to that straight up animal magnetism, the fire court. So the wands are generally very outgoing. They're not shy to hit on people. They think they're sexy. They usually exercise a lot and they are sex driven a lot of the time. These people in relationships can dive in really quickly. They can just go full throttle into like, you are amazing and I want you. And that's really hot, very, you know, um, Casanova. And that can also fire burns. That can also burn you. So consider that when you're with a fire person who's sexually driven, know what it is and let it be what it is. Why are you asking for it to be more than what's just on the surface at the beginning? A lot of us get caught up in some fire person and think, oh, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really end up marrying this person. Well, maybe. Fire people get married too. But usually the first couple months, it's hard to say where things are going because they're such passionate people. Especially that Knight of Wands. That's typically the character we might see in a, a show like, um, Bridgerton, where we have this just very magnetic, her brother is very like magnetic sexual character, um, but then, you know, long term, not always there. Uh, the other people who like to dive into relationships but from a different place are the Cups family. So the court cards of the Cups people, these are the emotionally driven people who are very romantic. So the knight in shining armor character is the knight of Cups. And these people are very sensual. So in while the fire signs might be a little bit like um, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It might be very magnetic and hot, but it might also fizzle out soon. These cups people are more of the sensualists who might have a little bit more foreplay involved in their game. <laughs> they also might be a little bit more edging towards kink because the they need to make sure that they're um, in a safe space and there's a lot of trust play that they might work with. Um, so cups people, you know, are the people who want to have a feather, they want to have massage, and you can entice them but I also want to say, as you entice them, be gentle with these people. They're tender hearts. They're really going to get super attached to you. So a dangerous combination is when you have a fire person with a cups person. Because now we have someone who's just fly by the seat of their pants, passionate in love with someone who's very passionate and very like, oh, I need to be with this person forever and much more future thinking. Um, but I'd say, you know, both are very much physically driven people and uh, these people are more in their heart and in the creativity of that sort of thing. So speaking of physical, we have the earth people of the pentacles. Now um, pentacles people are also physically sensual and they have a little bit more of that sense of groundedness. Um, they probably would like to have regular intercourse and it probably would get into a routine of some kind. Um, they like routine. They like knowing that Tuesday is special night and 
You know, it reminds me of that song, It's Business Time by Flight of the Concords, where he's like, you know, I know what you're saying when you're taking out the recycling, babe. It's business time. So that kind of, you know, um, knowing when it's happening and then they have the kind of arousal around like the system. They also are very physical people and they can be very sensual as well. Um, and I think that cups go well with pentacle people. Um, it's common in the zodiac and uh, in, in zodiac signs for that for those combos to happen and Pentacles people also really like a sense of security So these people might be more drawn into relationships where gifts are given Where acts of service are given that they know that they have someone who is dedicated and they are gonna get really sexy when they feel secure and when they know that they're in it for a longer run, they're great committers, they're really good at opening up from their walls they can put up when they know that they're in a secure relationship for a long time. So they're slower to get to know you, they're not gonna jump into bed with you the first night probably if they're taking you seriously, but you know, they're, they're around for the long haul. The other people who are, um, probably in it for a longer haul are our swords friends. So our court of swords, these are the intellectuals and these people are the ones who um, can be very much into communication. They might want to talk dirty. They also probably have a fix for stimulation through stories and reading. I'd say these are the kinky people in our group because fetish scene has a lot of um, geeks and these are our geeks right so these people might like role playing um and i'd say the cups people also would probably be into role playing because the fantasy so cups and swords also go well with a uh, kind of a combination if the swords people can get out of their head and into their heart and if the cups people can can pull out of their um emotions and into a place of sort of imagination um, the swords people also um, can be sensualist because they've, in a study I've seen, found that people who get in their head too much during sex are often the same people who are sensualists. And this is their challenge, of course, is to like not get in their head and not start thinking about taking out the trash while getting it on. Um, swords people are also, I'd say, in it for the longer haul because they, I'd say that the pentacles and swords are the people who are the most stable in that way, because they take a while to decide, both of them. And the swords people are really confident that um, if I've decided logically that you're a good fit for me, then they can really stick to the relationship. Unless they're super neurotic and they're always looking for a way out because they feel insecure So if you can help them to kind of rein in their insecurities and help them to do so you might have a good relationship with a swords person um, So I I welcome you to share in the comments who these other Characters and natures are that you've experienced in the court cards and um, you know think about who your past partners and lovers have been and consider which category would you think they best fit into. Remember, many of us fit into multiple categories. So, you know, uh, in the relationship, someone might be much more emotional and cups. And when then in bed, they might be more pentacles, grounded and routine and, and routine and a, routine can be sexy. Don't put down routine too much. But, you know, um, I would say that the ones who are the most stable in relationships would be the swords and the pentacles, while the people who are the most wishy-washy or fickle might be the wands and the cups people. So knowing who you're getting into a relationship with makes a huge difference in how you manage it and can make it so that you can have a much more fun and engaging relationship that is experienced for what it is rather than for what you're dreaming it to be. So this has been a fun little sojourn into the court cards through relationships. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my page, like to get notifications, ding the bell, and um, go and join my email list by going to my webpage presentpathtarot.com. Thanks so much and I hope you're having any love questions. Come get a reading from me. Thanks.